Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part 10 in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, Sea of Darkness. We are about to tackle this dog toy puzzle here. Um, definitely a tricky one. So, the one thing, if we look at the rules, that we know for sure is that in column B, the dogs are on the outside edges. We know that much. We know that that's true. Now, does that help us with um, row one? Both puffins are to the right of both dogs. And in row six, the dogs are adjacent. So I know the dogs have to be next to each other in row six. The dogs sit between the puffins in row C, which means um, the dog couldn't be here because it has to be between the puffins. So if the dogs are gonna be adjacent, it has to go there. Column A then, the puffins are adjacent. And the puffins are between the ponies in row five. So the puffin, a puffin can't go in three. No, in five. A puffin can't go in five because it has to be between. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins. So a puffin can't go here. So one of the puffins has to go here because they have to be adjacent to each other. No ponies in the left half of the cupboard and both puffins are to the right of both dogs. So the other puffin would have to be here because it can't go up here because that's to the left of the dogs. Okay, row A, the puffins are adjacent. We have now accomplished that. Row two, no adjacent toys of the same kind and three, no ponies in the left half of the cupboard, which means both of the ponies are gonna have to be here somewhere um, over here. Um, B, dogs are on the outside edges. No other rules for puffins. No adjacent toys of the same kind in row two. So like I can't put a puff in here. But other than that, I don't have a whole lot to go on. C, the dogs sit between the puffins in C. In one, both puffins are to the right of both dogs. So the puffins have to be over here somewhere. Can I suss out where the dogs sit between the puffins so it could be here both dogs are somewhere above both ponies both dogs are somewhere between the ponies and then a mirrored pattern so we don't know for sure where the puffins have to be to the right row six the dogs are adjacent and that's all we know um so we need to figure out where puffins could be could they be in c the dogs sit between the puffins, so yeah, there could be a puffin here. It's looking like C, maybe the puffins are on the edge, but it's hard to say for sure. I don't want to do anything unless I'm pretty sure about it, because then things can get really mixed up really quickly. So, let's see here. We know we can't put any more dogs in row 6 or column B. So, like, here, we know these can't be dogs, and they can't be puffins, or at least in three, no, in two. This can't be a dog, and it can't be a puffin, so it has to be a horse. And then, in row C, the dogs sit between the puffins. So this probably is not a puffin, and it can't be a horse, so I'm going to guess that this is a dog, and then this would be a puffin. I'm just, that feels right to me. Both puffins are to the right of both dogs. But if I do that then, this has to be a dog. And it just says the puffins are adjacent, so that could work. Both puffins are to the right of both dogs. This then would mean that these are both horses. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins, and the puffins are between the ponies, so that could be okay. Because the puffins are then somewhere in here. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins. We can make that work. 
That does mean, however, though, that this, there can't be a dog here, which means it's probably pretty likely that there's going to be a dog here. Like here. Because in four, both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins. If there can't be one here, then there has to be one here and here so that both dogs can be to the left of both puffins. And because F is mirror imaged across, we have puffins here. E, both dogs are somewhere between both ponies. D, both dogs are somewhere above both ponies, which means we would have to have pony, pony. Are we still doing okay? So far, so good. This then would have to be a horse. And this then would have to be a puffin. But then we got, now we have a problem. Because now we have three puffins. So no, that can't work. So where did we run into an error? See, this is the hard part, is like figuring out where you made the mistake. and going back before you've gone too far. <laughs> um, we know this is right. And we know some of this is right. I know the dogs are right. And I know one of these puffins is right. We know it can't be four and five. So we know it has to be like this. So, in row two, this can't be a dog, nor can it be a puffin. It has to be a horse. In row three, no ponies are in the left half of the cupboard. B, dogs are on the outside edges. A, puffins are adjacent. That's all fine. I think the issue we have here is that in row one, both puffins are to the right of both dogs. So, and in C, the dogs sit between the puffins. Which means, like in C, I cannot have a dog here. I could put a dog here, I think. Both dogs are somewhere above both ponies. So if I were to put a dog here, because I can't put it in C, then I would know for a fact that both puffins would have to be here because they have to be to the right of both dogs. I think that's my only other option because it did not work here. And if we're mirror imaging, we have a puffin down here. So in six, dogs are adjacent, still okay. Three, no ponies. Two, no adjacent toys. Um, D, both dogs are somewhere above both ponies. We're still okay there. E, both dogs are somewhere between the ponies. So ponies will be in the middle here somewhere. Both dogs are somewhere, no, the dogs will be in the middle. Ponies will not. Let's see, C, the dogs sit between the puffins. The dogs sit between the puffins. Well, I can't put a puffin here. I could put a puffin here, I think. And then there'd be a dog somewhere around here. Row six, the dogs are adjacent. Row three, no ponies in the left half of the cupboard. A, puffins are adjacent. The other dog, it can't go up here. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins. And the puffins are between the ponies. So the one of the dogs is here. We know. B, I can't put a pony here, because then it would be in the left half. So one of the ponies is down here. The puffins are between the ponies. That could still work, so I have not ruled that out yet. The dogs sit between the puffins in C. Can't 
can't put a puff in here. This is hard. Both dogs are somewhere above both ponies. Both dogs are somewhere between the ponies. And in F, mirror pattern across the center. Five. The puffins are between the ponies. I can't put a puff in here, but I couldn't do that anyway. Four. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins. The dogs... So dogs are going to have to be, like, over here. So this can't be a dog. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins. Nor can it be a puffin. So it has to be a horse. Horse. Which then would mean dog. Dog. Please be right. Two. No adjacent toys of the same kind. So this has to be either a pony or a puffin. But in E, both dogs are somewhere between the ponies. So that could be a puffin. And then that'd be a pony. Um, dogs are adjacent. And five, the puffins are between the ponies. Okay. I need to find another place to put a dog. If the puffins are between the ponies, I feel like pony, pony, puffin, puffin, dog is kind of our only option because I can't put another dog here. And if I put ponies, the puffins are between the ponies. If I put a pony and a pony here, I don't have enough room for the puffins. If I put a pony and a pony here... I have puffins, and I could put the dog here, I suppose. So there are a couple different options. If I put the pony and the pony here, the dog would have to go here, and then it'd be puffin' puffin'. Both dogs are somewhere above both ponies. No adjacent toys of the same kind. Both dogs are somewhere between both ponies. So, like, could I do a pony here and a pony here and then dog here? And then it would be pony, pony, puffin, puffin. I sound like a crazy person. I'm just saying pony and puffin a bunch of times. <laughs> and dog. Pony puffin. Oh, this these two have to be horses. That was a big thing, just staring me in the face. And then in one, or in A, the puffins are adjacent. Four, so I need a pony and a dog still. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins. The puffins are between the ponies. So I could put a pony here. I could put a dog here. C, the dogs sit between the puffins. <sighs> Man. This is driving me crazy. No ponies in the left half of the cupboard. D. Both dogs are somewhere above both ponies. So if I put a pony here, I'd have to put a dog here. I could put a pony here. Both dogs are somewhere between the ponies. And then I'd have dog. Both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins, though. That won't work. Because I need puffins here. So this can't be a dog. This can't be a dog. And in E, both dogs are somewhere between the ponies. 
this cannot be a dog so the dogs are gonna have to go here and here right because this can't be a dog because both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins so dog dog because I can't put like I couldn't do pony pony here because then I'd have to have a dog here and I can't do pony pony here because again I'd have to have a dog so it has to be pony pony dog there which then would make a puffin there and then these are puffins and dogs uh okay five the puffins are between the ponies so they would have to be like this which means this is the last dog and then four both dogs are somewhere to the left of both puffins three no ponies in the left half of the cupboard so the last pony has to go here um so far so good I can't put a pony here so a pony has to go here because there's already two so then this has to be the last puffin so six is still good the dogs are adjacent D both dogs are somewhere above both ponies so my dog has to go here and then this will be a puffin so in two no adjacent toys of the same kind we have another puffin okay so far so good I think in B dogs are on the outside edges in three no ponies in the left four both dogs somewhere to the left of both puffins C the dogs sit between the puffins yep okay so dogs and puffins this then would be the last horse and this then would be the last puffin please work Yay, it worked. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else has seen these. I see there's a lot you haven't come clean about with Elizabeth yet, eh, Magnus? Looks like my track record's not the only one with a few smudges. You going to tell me what's in that footlocker? Not a chance, Dagny, and I'm going to be up front with her. I just need to find the treasure first. Cash first, honesty second. A man after my own heart. I like it. Stop that. I'm nothing like you. Now, did you get the toy made or not? It's got to be rawhide. Toomey won't touch the stuff. Ah, look at you, all self-conscious. Sure, I got it. The key to open the toys under Toomey's carrier on the ship. I tried to drop it off with you last night, but you weren't around. I was down at the docks. I just need to find a tool to scrape those barnacles away. But once I do, I'll have caught up to Lawrence. Finally, how strange that after years of devices and contraptions that it should all come down to scraping detritus off a piece of driftwood. Bravo. Okay, so we need to scrape off barnacles, and we need to go under the toy carrier, the dog carrier. I need to know you're with me, that you're going to see this through, just like we talked about when we started this project. We have a saying in the States, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'm with you. Just don't forget you need me too. You try to cut me out and you'll just see how fast I can get mean. I'm just nervous, I guess. Someone's definitely on my tail. What if they catch up to me? Magnus, focus. Whoever they are, they're not your biggest threat. I am. I have no patience for spineless cowards. You disappear for more than 24 hours and I'll gladly burn your ship to the ground. Then use the smoldering blackened remains to torch your cabin too. Don't mess with a professional. You've always had my word, Dagny. You still do. No need for that. Good. Then we're done here. Icelandic. <laughs> okay. So we... What was that? Oh, that was the thing closing. The shades. Let's go to the ship and look under the carrier under the dog carrier because it sounds like we need um a key of some sort for a toy that's the doggy kennel in magnus's note hmm a key okay tiny key for a toy that's cool. And then we need to scrape off barnacles. It sounds like. Can we do that? Can we see the barnacles? Maybe it needs to be low tide. Let's go switch to um, low tide. Time to go to bed.
low tide barnacles barnacles okay use the scrapey thingy there are markings behind the barnacles 26 I bet that's one of the numbers that we need so 14 is one and 26 is another that's helpful information still have haven't done did that still have to do did that okay pretty good I think we're making some good progress. I'm proud of our proud of our accomplishments. All right, well, I'm going to leave this part right here. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.